All right, here we are, man. So actually, it's kind of cool because you asked me about um, my week. Yeah. The like the last two weeks have just been like just been hard, right? Like just mentally, and so. I was like in like a little funk, whatever the case was, and the funk was just getting worse and worse, worse and worse and worse and worse. And finally kicked the funk, which is why I had a great weekend, X, Y, and Z. But it made me start thinking like in life, we just go through highs and lows all the time. Yep. And we get into this funk all the time. It's like, a, it's, a, it's a cycle. It happens, it's natural. Um, it could be this, it could be COVID, it could be work, it could be whatever, but like highs and lows, they come and go. And it's like, what can we do to kind of, combat those highs and lows mm-hmm. so something that kim and i actually did this week was that we set up like a structure for like how we like our day so i wanted to ask you like just like how we like our day things that we like doing it like that we need to do every day like it could be something as simple as like yo, know, i just need to play call of duty for an hour every day like just different things that we give ourselves in the day that like help us mentally combat the highs and lows so i want to wrap with you see what are some of the things that you do being a trainer for the highs and lows? Oh, that's a good question. I think for me, I, I do turn to physical activity a lot to kind of center myself when it comes to, you know, those moments of anxiety or confusion or, or anything, just not feeling like myself. I do turn to that. Uh, something that's really therapeutic for me is also cooking. Okay. Okay. Like I, I feel very like in in a world where you don't have much control and that's a hard thing to really realize except is that you don't have a lot of control over the things you think you do. Right. Cooking. You do when you're uh, working out or doing something physical, you do to a certain extent. And it doesn't mean it's a bad thing because you want to be in those situations that you can control. It just kind of, for me is a, like a leveling, to a certain extent. It's like right. grounding in this world. Nothing is really, you know, un- under my control, but these very like small instances are, and yeah. I value that and take that same kind of confidence out into the world and, you know, feel better and feel centered. I like that. So just taking things. So like I was actually listening to this uh, guy and he does like a mindset reset. And he said like, the exact same thing you said, like mm-hmm. we have no control over anything. Right. Mm-hmm. But we can control the things that we do like, like you can control the cook, the entire cooking process and you can control the, like how intense your workout is. Right. And like, so like for people who like me, like you, everyone has like a control kind of thing. It's, it would be great to like factor in things in our day in which we can control. It will satisfy that feeling. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. I think it's a healthy way too. you know, absolutely. You can't control your relationships. You can't control the people you're in relationships with. You can't control your friends. To a certain extent, you, there's not much that you're really in control of. You right. know, and make a concerted effort to be in positions to where they come out lucratively for us. But ultimately, even if we control that, we, we don't control the day-to-day. You know, we're basically just trying to, like, keep our head above water. Right. For the game, plan that we can. But you know what they say, you know, man – makes a plan and God laughs. And you know, he literally thinks it's hysterical. I, it's not even funny to me though. I don't laugh. <laughs> I, I'm not laughing. I'm like, yo, my man. But um, I, did, I was doing some research and I put up like this little article and it was just talking about like dealing with the highs and lows and they were suggesting like certain things. Um, and if it would open for me. I wanted just to share a couple of things and it's literally some of the things that we've mentioned. Um, in terms of like being active, mm-hmm. like sticking to a routine, like figuring out your routine. I'm sure I, I know you have a routine because you train early in the morning and then you have, a, you have a gap in between the day. So like you've like, how important is your routine to you? Uh, in the past has been very important. I, I don't think it is so far now and not in a bad way. I'm still right. a, you know, like, you know, pretty, I plan, I like to plan things. Um, I like things in my calendar so I don't forget. I like to write things down so I don't forget. But I'm not a slave to it like I probably have. No, definitely not a slave. This is not about being a slave to routine. It's more like like just knowing like, yo, like less of a routine and I think more of a structure, 
right? Like of like the course of your day. Like, you know, I normally go to bed around these times. I wake up around this time. Like I, I can't really be a robot to time because then I'd be obsessed. But like, if I have a structure in which I know that things can fall into, like what time I want to sit down and relax, what time I want to read, whatever the case may be, like that kind of routine, that kind of structure really helps. Cause then like your mind won't wander. So, it, like, it, it helps a lot. And it, you know, it just helps, you know, keep you on track, keeps you responsible. Um, you know, the, the older you get, the more every single step and every single decision is just like heavier and weighs more. So it's important to, you know, plan out certain stuff and, make sure that you're not forgetting certain important life things while also not being, you know, a slave to your routine. And a lot Absolutely. of are slaves to their routine because they are not putting, you know, enough energy into themselves. Like there's no self care. There's no, you know, right. So that's a part of that's like what we yeah. would do. Put like in your, in your structure of your day, like put something for yourself. Like Kim's so like Kim and I would do like a thing. She like, put a little thing where like now before bed, she takes like 35 minutes to do her little skincare routine. But that's just something that she likes to do. 30 minutes? Not 30 minutes, but like she's washing her face. She's brushing her teeth. She's setting up her retainers. She's whatever. But like it's the 30 minutes to yourself. I feel, I hear that. I do. Um, all right, enough of that. But what's like a, cause I feel like men and women have different things that we do, I guess, like to like recenter. Right. Like a woman will have like a skincare routine and like a guy will, what, what would a guy do? It, it was so funny because when we were making this, she was like, yeah, I need this amount of time. I'm like, cool. I need like five minutes to wash my face, brush my teeth. And yeah, you know I mean, I only need one hand to do all of that. I do. All <laughs> I brush with my right, wash my face with my right. Right. Like, it's, it's different for us. Maybe longer with my hair since I have hair. Yo, your hair looks good today, by the way. You thank you. I like guess you do it, huh? You did it yourself. Uh, yeah, I lined it up. Oh, wow, like a little, little tape of myself. I didn't feel like going to the bar last week. Yo, you know, I don't know what the feeling is. I know the feeling after a fresh cut. Well, I was gonna say, uh huh, I know the feeling of leaving a barbershop after a fresh cut, right? Like, you know how I feel, you, you know how we all feel, Absolutely. right? But I don't know that feeling of giving myself a fresh lineup. And walking out the crib, that has to be different. I, it's, it's, not as, it's not as satisfying because you did it yourself. So it's like you did the work. It's not like you were just like sitting down, you were being pampered. Because essentially like... Right, right, right. The pamper feeling. Yeah, a man version of pampering is like going to the bar. I actually did want to talk about that today too. Yeah, what about it's being pampered? No. Okay, so right, men and women. Women go to the salon. Uh -huh. Right, and I've been frequenting the salon down here just to get you know, mani pedi, self care, whatever. Okay. And yo, know, what goes on in nail salons never happens at barbershops. Expound. The drama. <laughs> no, there's no drama. Huh? There's no, I, I mean, I haven't seen drama in barbershops. Like the barbershop I go to right now is probably the longest I've ever gone to like a single barber. Right. And that's right. Because like the barber I have is actually like on time and reliable. Yeah, that's our issues. Those are our issues. Yeah, 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 absolutely. If you are time issues, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not. You're not getting my money at all. Or right. my. Um, but most of the conversations there are about you know sports, same shit, sports. Uh, there's one guy that's like really big into stocks, so it's about that also. Um, but yeah, salons are the breeding ground of drama. Like those are the breeding grounds of your nigga ain't shit. Yo, Kim was filling me in yeah. on just what like it's beef in there like it's beef from the moment you get in if shorty doesn't do your nails right and i'm like yo like if your barber messes up your hair like is it beef or is it like yo damn you messed me up dog i think it's beef it just depends on how bad it is like if he if he takes oh, yeah and like a little lower than you wanted because that did happen to me a few months ago when i like i was short sick <laughs> and it got like a little lower than i wanted it to be and i was like yo i didn't want it this low um and <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, and then, but I've never had a situation where like somebody left like a ball spot in my head or like pushed oh, yeah. back or anything like that. Because then, then that would be a problem. So I, I guess so. I guess that's like, the issue. Yeah, and like women and their hair and their salon shit and their nails. Like, 
that's that's like a code red if that shit gets fucked up. Yeah, it's just not so rowdy in 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 the barbershops as it is in the nail salons. No, nah, not at all. Not that's a- all. That's all. Um, what else we got? The last thing I wanted to talk about was holidays are coming up. Yes, they are. Um, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Is is this your um first holiday round robin? What do you mean? With your significant other? This is our first holiday, yes. Very nice. We will not um we won't be like in the same space. Like she'll be with her family in Atlanta. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I was gonna ask later down the road, right? Like, how do you decide whose crib we're going to? Like, wh- who gets what holiday? Do we go to both? Like, how does that work? I think you got to make, I mean, I think that's a problem for us maybe next year. Right. Uh, as opposed to, as opposed to this year. No, I'm, not this year. I mean, but I mean, in just in general. Um, I think it's a compromise. I think it's what's right. more convenient. Who's closer? Who got the best food? Who got the biggest house? Right. TV. I think it's all, I think it's all convenience. Like you can buy, you know, if you got a family member that, you know, like that has the, the black and white CV set up in the kitchen and that's the only t- source of entertainment. You could stop by and say, what's up and grab a pumpkin pie. <laughs> but you know, yeah, that pie is fire though. The, 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 the house with the TV in the kitchen, the small one. Yeah, absolutely. Big facts. That's, pie. that's where the best baked goods come from. That's- my grandmother had a TV in the kitchen. Like my, my auntie, auntie got that it's in the kitchen. Like that's where the best food comes from. You watch prices, right? And yeah, get- kiss that shit. That is luxurious. Yeah. 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 It's different. The Uh, best meals, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 